now at 6.30, Sunday church services in Dallas bring an outpouring of support for law enforcement. President Obama will travel to Dallas on Tuesday. He'll deliver remarks at an interfaith memorial service there. We learn of the president's plan as Dallas police release new information about the man who ambushed officers at the end of what had been a peaceful protest, killing five of them. CBS 4's Danielle Nottingham is live for us in Dallas tonight. Danielle. Well, Rick, Dallas's police chief says the shooter, Micah Johnson, who is African American, demanded to speak to a black negotiator. And there was no way to get closer to him without putting his officers in even more danger. So he decided to send the bomb in. As FBI investigators collected evidence and removed patrol cars from the deadly shooting scene in Dallas Sunday, Police Chief David Brown revealed new details about the gunman, Micah Johnson. Police say Johnson's journal shows he had been planning an attack for a while. We believe that the deaths in Minnesota and uh, the deaths in, in Louisiana just sparked his, his delusion. Uh, to fast track his plan. Brown said the former Army reservist laughed and taunted officers during two hours of negotiations following Thursday's attack. The police chief made the decision to send in a robot with explosives strapped to its arm, ending the standoff and killing Johnson. There was more lettering written in his own blood. The five officers who died were remembered during Sunday services. We pray for these black families. Who Sandra Sterling attended a Conversations with America town hall at a church in Dallas. Her nephew, Alton Sterling, was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police last week. Videos of the shooting went viral. But when I saw the second tape, he suffered. He suffered. President Obama will be here in Dallas on Tuesday to attend a memorial service for the fallen officers and help the survivors heal. Shatamia Taylor was shot while she shielded her son. I felt it when it hit me in the back of my leg. And the other officer jumped on top of me and covered me and my son. Taylor says she's thankful for the officers who saved her and her son's lives. It's quite a bit longer. And Taylor attended that protest with four of her sons. She says that she will go to more demonstrations with them to show them she is not a quitter. Live in Dallas, Danielle Nottingham. Rick, back to you. Danielle, thank you very much.